Hey everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic Seven. And today we're gonna do Guild War. We're gonna lose Guild War, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Uh, and the reason why I'm okay with losing this Guild War and not doing so well is because my defense did exceptionally well. Uh, and and that that gives me the right to experiment, right? Uh, so my defense did really, really, really well this time. Uh, the typical team I've been using, just tons of wins. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. One. Uh, not one. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Five wins, six losses for a Rin defense. And uh, the wins go, they, they go on forever. It's awesome. So what we're going to try today, one, we're going to try the new super improved Mortelix with the EE that just gave him like ridiculous usefulness now. Um, sarcastic, by the way. We're going to try him in an injury comp with uh, Ilyanov. And we're also going to try Charlotte uh, with no Bulagoras. But hey, it's what I've got. Also to note, uh, the reason why I think this team is going to semi-work is because... Um, it's really loud. Sorry, I'm trying to balance out game sound better. Uh, I think having game sound is really important. Um, because I think Charlotte's on lifesteal, I think. And then uh, Carrot just never dies. And then Arby's on um, counter uh, Moonlight Dreamblade. So while it looks like this is a stupid team, maybe statistically the odds, the odds are on my side. And we're able to pull this off here, especially if we got a bunch of burns. And I want to pause right here because um, let's actually wait till we go here. But no, let's let's pause right here. So, uh, when I posted, I actually posted my carrot very recently on Reddit, and I also uh, show it off in videos. And people are always like, like, yeah, your carrot's got good attack, she's got good defense, she's got good HP and good speed, but she has no effectiveness. She's never gonna land anything, and that's just not true. Zero percent effectiveness is enough effectiveness for the vast majority of people, even ones that are heavily debuff focused because of how effectiveness and effect resistance works. If you didn't watch my video on that, go check it out. I'll try to leave it in the link description below, but it, it is extremely important to understand why and when you want effectiveness or else you're just throwing stats away. Um, for example, a team like this, it is literally useless for me to have any more than 8% effectiveness like I have. Like, I'd rather have zero, pretty much. Um, because it just it just doesn't matter, right? Also, uh, I don't think my Charlotte has dodged anything yet, or um, not been crit yet. But it should be fine, right? We're just gonna blast everything. So she's buffed, she just AoEs and kills everything? Okay, that was some pretty good damage, actually. <laughs> yes, that was some pretty good damage, considering, right? She's got no Mola, right? Um, and against this team, we just want to land some injuries. So I'm obviously going to be going not for the crowd first, because it's harder for me to land on the crowd. But at the same time, I have tons of counterattacks going towards the uh, the crowd from the Ilyanov, assuming she gets unstunned here. Shall we test fate? So, um, yeah, there. this strap yourselves in. This is what you sign up for when you build an injury team. Uh, and also to note the, uh, are you ready to order? the, uh, both, both of them are on, uh, counter set. I believe one of them is also on Elbrus. I don't remember which is which, uh, but one of them is on Elbrus and one of them is on, um, uh, the other he's also an elvis which is fine so this is this is literally going to take forever just as a warning but like i said this is what you're signing up for if you want safe wins it's a really good way to get safe wins um we do have injury on her counters right uh i can't remember who i put the um uh by the way uh guaranteed guaranteed defense down but uh 50 chance to land it uh that could have been something they really fixed with his uh E, but nope, 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 nope. So another counter attack. Okay, we have Ilyanov on the counter attack again. Defense break there. We should have slaughtered that guy, but uh, we didn't. We didn't hit the 50-50. And again, that's three attacks now. Am I? Am I right with that? 
Look how much damage we've done, by the way. Am I right with that? Like, it is 50% chance to land his defense break, but 100% chance to land it when he's got his uh, rage, right? Because he has legit just not... And it's not even getting resisted. He's just not doing it. Also, Crow is going to kill somebody here. Oh, Crow doesn't go for it. Okay. Look at all these counterattacks. It's actually kind of funny. There's a defense break. I actually haven't had a turn in a while. I've just been permanently provoked, by the way. Um, so I really... I, I want to stun him. <laughs> you think you... Because there's a good chance Crow just... No, Crow's going to go for the um, the alien app, which is fine. Nice defense breaks. I'm really glad he's so consistent on his defense breaks. By the way, we are drinking Untitled Coffee Goes today, and it's delicious. Thank you, Ruel. We really wanted that heal there. Um, yeah, so this is this is something, I guess. Um miserable creature i will show you grace. we'll get there right that's the plan by granting you death that is the plan and this is like the extreme limit right like we would we would not be dying if they had a dps with them and we would be killing them way faster and we also seem to not be getting too many counter attacks i'm um, considering how much counter we have on this and we finally got one of these for a counterattack. Get some more injury down there. Keep her HP a little low. Has come for you. I should really read his skills. He decreases defense, right? But I really like Ilyana, by the way. Like, he does decrease defense. I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> I'm going to read his abilities just in case. She heals her back up to 60% or so. Honestly, these last two characters we've got, so the Ilyanov and the Senya, are like two of my favorite characters. Okay, 50% chance. So he does, uh, believe it or not, he does decrease defense. And... um. Uh, where is it here? Uh, bu 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 bu. It doesn't he have ignores effect resistance? Sacred blessing. It's on this one. Ignores effect resistance when the caster is enraged. So he's skill one like seven times. And he literally has not landed a defense break yet. And he's had this up like the vast majority of the time. It's actually really infuriating because that's always been the biggest problem with him is he's just not consistent enough, right, to land stuff like that. So it's kind of funny they put out an E and it doesn't really help too much uh, in that regard. So, um, yeah, we'll get there. That's why you brought this team, though. Like, sooner or later, we're going to get... We're going to get a defense break and it's going to be glorious. Like right here. Nope. Oh, he didn't have Berserk there, so I think it actually went over, but uh, didn't land. Okay, so we've got Ruel. Does it cap at 50%? I think it does, um, which doesn't really make sense, you know? Um, injury is not super overpowering, so why not? Why why, why cap it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, considering, like, how underused and, uh, like, how not super powerful it is. You may be worth my attention. Not bad for such this is ridiculous, by the way. But hey, we're we're basically Dark Corvusine without Dark Corvus here. Ilyanov has spent a lot of time stunned as well, even with the immunity stuff. Nope, not gonna land a defense break. Why would you do that? This is like a nine-minute battle without defense. Am I missing something? Please tell me, because this is. This is something else. This is something else indeed. This should kill, right? No, it doesn't kill. It's fine. She doesn't have a heal up. Yes, she does. Oh, okay. We'll get there. We'll get there, team. I could go for somebody else. We'll, we'll go here. <laughs> is this defense break broken? I don't understand. Absolutely ridiculous. Counterattack. Thank you. Somebody's dead. Holy. 
We get a damage total after this, right? I, I'm really curious to see if Mort did anything. Because I'm pretty sure it's all Ilyana. Here we go, here we go. Here's that massive defense break. <laughs> what is this? Seriously, what is this? It's not getting resisted. It's just not landing. Holy, I'm just going to put it on auto. I've had it enough with this crap. Here we go. <laughs> it's got to be broken, right? This is like a 10-minute battle. He has not even got resisted. He hasn't even got resisted, buddy. The Great Mortelix. Holy. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.